Hey guys, welcome to Better English Listening. Now, you will hear everyday conversations happening in various situations and settings. This will help you expand your vocabulary and become better at understanding and speaking English. So, let's begin. I have to pull some strings. I hate to do this, but I have to pull some strings to get my cousin that job. Really? Isn't that a bit unfair to the other applicants? I know it may seem that way, but he's been struggling for so long, and this job could be a game changer for him. I get that you want to help your cousin, but doesn't it compromise the integrity of the hiring process? I've been thinking about that too. I'm going to speak to the hiring manager and make sure they understand my cousin's qualifications. That's a more ethical approach. If he's truly qualified, he should have a fair shot. Exactly. I don't want to hurt anyone else's chances, but I want to make sure he gets a fair consideration. I respect your intention to help your cousin, but it's crucial to maintain fairness in the process. I appreciate your input. I just hope it all works out for the best. We'll see how it goes. Just remember, it's important to be transparent and ensure that the process remains fair and unbiased. Thanks, you're right. I'll make sure of that. I have to see it to believe it. Have you heard about that new restaurant that opened up in town? They say it's amazing. Yeah, I've heard the buzz, but I'm not convinced. I have to see it to believe it. Well, some friends went there and raved about the food and the ambience. I'm still a bit skeptical. I've been disappointed by the hype before. Fair enough. I'm thinking of trying it this weekend. You should come with me and see for yourself. Maybe I will. I guess experiencing it firsthand is the best way to judge. Exactly. Sometimes pictures and reviews don't do a place justice. I'll keep an open mind then. It could be a pleasant surprise. Great. Let's plan for Saturday. I think you'll be impressed. Sounds like a plan. I'm willing to give it a shot. Let's see if it lives up to the hype. Awesome. Looking forward to it. I have to wrap my head around this. I got this new project at work, and it's quite complex. Oh, really? What's it about? It involves a lot of data analysis and programming, and I have to develop a machine learning model. I have to wrap my head around this. Sounds challenging. How do you plan to tackle it? I think I'll start by breaking it down into smaller tasks. It's a big undertaking, and I want to ensure I understand every aspect. That's a good approach. Take it step by step. Yeah, 
and I'm going to need to do some research and maybe take a course to brush up on certain skills. That's a smart move. Continuous learning is key in our field. Absolutely. It's a bit overwhelming right now, but I know that with time, I'll be able to wrap my head around it and make progress. I have no doubt about that. You've always been a quick learner. In hot water, in trouble or facing a difficult situation. Oh no, I'm in hot water with my boss. What happened? You seem to be doing well at work. I missed a crucial deadline on the project, and my boss is furious. Yikes, that's not good. How did that happen? It was a combination of things, unexpected issues, personal problems, and poor time management. It sounds like a tough situation. What are you going to do? I've already apologized and promised to make it right. But my boss is really upset. Well, they say the best way to get out of hot water is to fix the problem and learn from your mistakes. You're right. I need to step up, be more organized, and ensure this doesn't happen again. It's a valuable lesson. We all make mistakes, but it's how we recover and improve that matters. Thanks for understanding. I was worried about sharing this with someone. No problem. We all face challenges at work. Just remember, being in hot water doesn't mean you can't find a way out and come out stronger. I'll keep that in mind and work towards getting back in my boss's good graces. Thanks for the support. You've got this. If you need any help, feel free to reach out. Pick out, choose or select something from a group. Hey, I need your help picking out a gift for my sister's birthday. Of course, I'd be happy to help. What's she into? Well, she's a huge bookworm, so I was thinking of getting her a new novel. But there are so many options at the bookstore, I can't decide which one to pick out. That's a great idea. Let's think about her favorite authors or genres. Do you have any hints from her recent reads? She's been raving about mystery novels lately, especially by a few specific authors. Maybe I should pick out one of their books. Sounds like a good plan. How about you give me their names, and we can head to the bookstore and pick out the latest release by one of them? That's a smart approach. She'll be thrilled to receive a book from one of her favorite authors. Great! Let's go pick out a bestseller and a beautifully wrapped gift bag to go with it. It'll be a thoughtful present. Thanks for your help. She's going to love it. Break the ice to start a conversation or activity to relieve tension or awkwardness. Hey, do you know anyone at this party? Nope, I'm in the same boat. 
It's always a bit awkward when you're trying to break the ice with strangers. Tell me about it. I'm terrible at small talk, but they say it's the best way to start a conversation. Yeah, you've got to find some common ground, right? So, where are you from? I'm originally from Chicago. How about you? That's cool. I'm from New York. Big city folks, huh? Exactly. It's nice to meet someone from a different city. Have you been to Chicago before? Once or twice, yeah. The architecture is incredible. How about you? Ever visited the Big Apple? I've been a couple of times. New York is so vibrant and diverse. Any must visit places you'd recommend. Well, you've got to see Central Park and the Met, for starters. And the food scene is incredible. Thanks for the tips. Breaking the ice wasn't as hard as I thought. No problem. It's all about finding that common thread to get the conversation flowing. Enjoy the party. Throw in the towel to give up on a task or activity. I've been trying to fix this old computer for hours, but I think I'm ready to throw in the towel. I don't blame you. Sometimes, it's just not worth the frustration. It's an ancient piece of hardware, anyway. Yeah, I've tried everything, but it's just not cooperating. I give up. Don't feel bad about it. You've given it your best shot. Maybe it's time for an upgrade. You're right. It's about time I invested in a new one. This thing has seen better days. On a different note, how's your New Year's resolution to hit the gym regularly going? I hate to admit it, but I threw in the towel on that one too. Life's been too busy. It happens to the best of us. The important thing is not to give up on your health and fitness entirely. You can always start again when things calm down. You're absolutely right. I'll get back on track once I have more free time. Thanks for the encouragement. No problem. We all have our moments when we want to throw in the towel, but it's about getting back up and trying again when the time is right. I have to take it step by step. I've decided to start training for a marathon. That's a huge goal. Are you excited? Absolutely, but it's a daunting challenge. I know I have to take it step by step. That's a smart approach. Do you have a training plan in mind? Yes, I've found a beginner's program. I'll gradually build up my endurance. Good. It's important not to push too hard too fast. I'm well aware of that. I want to avoid injuries and burnout. Have you thought about your diet and recovery too? Yes, I'm working on a balanced diet and prioritizing proper rest. It's all part of the process. I'm impressed with your commitment and planning. Thanks. I'm really looking forward to this journey, even if it's challenging. You've got the right mindset. Remember, it's about progress, not perfection. That's a great way to put it. I'll take it step by step, and I'm sure I'll get there.
Cry over spilled milk, worrying about things that have already happened and cannot be changed. Hey, I heard about what happened with your laptop. That's tough luck. Yeah, it's been a nightmare. I can't believe I spilled coffee all over it. Well, you know what they say, don't cry over spilled milk. Yeah, but this is a lot more expensive than a glass of milk. I have so much work on there. I get it, it's a big deal. Have you tried taking it to a repair shop? I did, and they're looking at it, but it doesn't look good. They said it might not be salvageable. That's rough. But maybe it's an opportunity to get a new and better laptop. True, but it's just the inconvenience and the cost. I'm not ready for that expense right now. I understand. It's frustrating when things like this happen. But remember, it's just a material possession. You're safe and healthy. And that's what really matters. You're right. I shouldn't dwell on it. It's just hard not to cry over spilled milk. You know? Absolutely, but sometimes, it's a lesson in letting go and adapting to unexpected changes. You'll get through it. It's a tough pill to swallow. So, I heard the company is going through a massive reorganization. How are you feeling about it? Honestly, it's a tough pill to swallow. I've been with this team for years, and now everything's changing. I can imagine how unsettling that must be. Change is never easy. Yeah, it's not just the change, but the uncertainty that comes with it. I'm not sure where I'll fit in the new structure. Have you talked to your manager about your concerns? I plan to, but it's still a bit nerve-wracking. I've built a routine around my current role. It's understandable. But sometimes, these changes can lead to new opportunities you haven't considered. Keep an open mind. You're right. I'll try to see it as a chance for growth, even though it's hard right now. Change often is. It's a tough adjustment, but it's also a chance to learn and adapt. Thanks for the encouragement. I guess I'll start by having that conversation with my manager and take it from there. That's a great first step. You've got the skills and experience to handle this transition. You'll find your place in the new setup. Settle for, accept something less than desired. I heard you didn't get that job you interviewed for. What happened? Yeah, it's disappointing. I didn't get the offer, but they said I was their second choice. That's tough. Are you going to keep looking for something better or settle for this other job you mentioned earlier? I'm still not sure. I don't want to settle for a job I'm not passionate about, but the bills are piling up and I need a paycheck. It's a tough spot to be in. Sometimes we have to settle for something temporarily while we continue the search for the ideal job. You're right. I might have to settle for the other job just to make ends meet. It's not my dream job, but I can keep looking for something better while I'm there. It's a practical approach. At least it'll provide some financial stability while you explore other opportunities. Yeah, and who knows, maybe I'll discover that I like it more than I initially thought. I won't settle for complacency. I'll keep striving for my dream job. That's the spirit. Don't give up on your goals, even if you have to settle for a temporary solution.
A rolling stone gathers no moss, a person who keeps moving or changing is less likely to become stagnant or stuck in one place. Hey, I've been thinking about our career choices lately. You know, they say a rolling stone gathers no moss. Oh, that's an interesting perspective. What do you mean by that? Well, it means that if you keep moving and trying new things, you won't get stuck or complacent. You won't accumulate the burdens of inaction or routine. I get it. So, are you thinking of making a change in your career? Yeah, I've been in the same job for years now, and it's become a bit monotonous. I think I need a change, something new and challenging. That's brave. I've always admired your adventurous spirit. What kind of career change are you considering? I'm thinking of pursuing my passion for writing. Maybe start a blog or write a novel. That's amazing. Your talent deserves to be shared. I agree, sometimes staying in one place too long can lead to missed opportunities. A rolling stone really does gather no moss. Thanks. I appreciate your support. It's time to roll and see where this new path takes me. I'm excited for you, and I'm sure you'll do great. Remember, embrace change and keep rolling forward. Sick as a dog, very ill. Hey, you don't look so good. What happened? I've been feeling sick as a dog for the past couple of days. I think I caught a nasty cold. That's rough. Have you seen a doctor? Not yet. I've been trying to tough it out with rest and home remedies. Sometimes that works. But if it's not getting better, you should consider seeing a healthcare professional. Yeah, you're right. I hate going to the doctor, but I think it might be time. It's essential to take care of your health. You'll recover faster with the right treatment. I know, but it's just miserable being sick. I can't even get out of bed. Being sick as a dog is never fun. But once you get through it, you'll appreciate your health even more. Thanks for the support. I'll make that doctor's appointment today. That's a good plan. In the meantime, rest up and take it easy. I'll do my best. Thanks for checking in on me. No problem. Get well soon. Let the cat out of the bag to reveal a secret. Hey, I heard a rumor that you're leaving the company. What's going on? Well, you know, I was trying to keep it quiet, but it seems someone let the cat out of the bag. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I just heard it from someone else. It's okay. I was planning to talk to my team and my manager about it soon anyway. So, what's the reason behind leaving? I've got an opportunity at another company that I couldn't pass up. 
It's a better row, more pay, and closer to home. That sounds like a great opportunity. You've got to do what's best for you. Thanks. I just hope my team won't be too upset when I officially break the news. I'm sure they'll understand. Change is a part of life, and they'll adapt. I appreciate your support. It's a bit overwhelming, but I believe it's the right move. Absolutely. Sometimes you have to let the cat out of the bag and chase those opportunities. Good luck with your new journey. I have to make ends meet. I've been really tightening my budget lately. I have to make ends meet, you know? I hear you. Times are tough. What's been the biggest challenge? Well, my rent keeps going up and the cost of groceries is soaring. It's getting hard to keep up. It's tough when the essentials become a financial burden. Have you thought about any cost-cutting strategies? I've started cooking at home more often and cut down on non-essential expenses like dining out and entertainment. That's a good start. Have you explored any additional sources of income? I've been considering a part-time job or maybe freelancing in my spare time. It's just hard to find the energy after my full-time job. I understand. It's a juggling act for sure. Just remember, you're doing your best. Thanks for the encouragement. I'm determined to get through this. It's just a tough period. You're not alone in this. Reach out for help or advice whenever you need it. We'll find a way to make ends meet. I appreciate that. It's comforting to have a friend like you to talk to. It's a piece of cake. Hey, I heard you aced that math exam yesterday. How was it? Oh, it was a piece of cake, really. I mean, I was a bit nervous at first, but once I started, it felt so straightforward. Seriously, I thought it was pretty challenging. I struggled with those algebra problems. Well, I guess we all have our strengths. Algebra just happens to be my thing. But really, it was like a walk in the park. Lucky you. I wish I had your confidence. I was double checking my answers the whole time. Confidence comes with practice, you know. The more you work on those problems, the easier it gets. Just like eating a piece of cake, the first bite might be daunting, but the more you have, the tastier it becomes. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe next time, it'll be a piece of cake for me too. Absolutely, just keep at it, and you'll conquer it. You've got this. It's a balancing act. I've been feeling overwhelmed. Juggling work, family, and personal life, it's all become a massive balancing act. I can relate. 
It's tough to keep all those aspects of life in equilibrium. How do you manage it? Well, I've started by setting clear priorities. Family comes first, then work, and whatever's left is for personal time. That sounds like a good strategy. How about self-care? You mustn't forget to take care of yourself in all this. You're right. I've neglected that a bit. I need to carve out time for me, too. It's essential for your overall well-being. What about delegating tasks at work or home? I'm slowly learning to do that. At work, I've started to delegate some responsibilities. And at home, I'm getting my family involved. Good moves. It's not a sign of weakness to ask for help. It's smart. Thanks for the support. Sometimes, it feels like a never-ending juggling act, but I'm determined to find balance. You've got this. Remember, it's an ongoing process, and it's okay to adjust as you go. I appreciate your encouragement. I'm working on it day by day. Thank you for joining us today on Better English Listening. Don't forget to subscribe to Better English Listening by clicking that subscribe button below. And if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button. If you have any questions, suggestions, or specific topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please share them in the comments section below. Until next time, keep studying, keep speaking, and keep shining in the world of English. See you in the next lesson.